One of the things I like about Texas Parkour is the fact that they're trying to bring all the communities of parkour within Texas together. Uh, there are many of communities out there, many parkour groups that aren't really well known. You know, they're not really connected to any other any of the other groups. Uh, what Texas Parkour is trying to do is they're trying to bring all those groups together so that they're all known to each other. They can really connect with each other. Another thing that's really cool about being able to connect with all the other parkour groups is you get together. You know, you have big jams. Everybody gets to meet each other, and you you get really good friends in the parkour scene. Um, make good connections. And a lot of times when you train with new people, you, you really realize, you know, hey, you know, maybe I can add this to this routine, you know, maybe when I do this trick, I can add a little bit of flair, maybe when I do this movement, I can, you know, do this motion. You, you really learn more about, you know, what you're capable of doing. Another great thing about Texas parkour that I like is they're really trying to show what parkour really is. Uh, a lot of videos you see on YouTube, there's people jumping off buildings, you know, taking huge drops, flipping between buildings. That's not really what parkour is about. Um, parkour is about you know the discipline. It's about uh, being physically strong, you know, mentally strong as well. But big drops like that, they're really unnecessary. Um, that's one of the things that Texas parkour tries to teach. You know, a lot of people get the wrong, they get the misconception. They think, oh, parkour, jump off building. Oh, parkour, do a huge flip. When really that that's not what it's all about. And Texas parkour is trying to educate everybody that parkour is really a discipline. It's more of a martial arts in a sense. Another thing that Texas Parkour focuses on is conditioning and repetition. That's not really something you see with the younger tracers. Uh, the new guys, you know, one or two years in, they don't do much conditioning. They think, oh, I gotta learn a new big move. I, I wanna learn something new. When really, what you should be working on is conditioning, you know, making sure you're strong enough, making sure your body's ready to do all those motions. And that's another thing Texas Parkour focuses on. They say, hey, you know, yes, you'll learn these big moves eventually once your body's ready for it. But right now, you need to focus on, you know, do those push-ups, do those sit-ups, repeat that cat leg, repeat that top out. Make sure you really understand everything, the in and outs and how everything works. Because once you get that down, everything else will follow. Every advanced movement is based on a basic movement, and that's something that Texas Parkour teaches. A lot of people are going out there on their own and learning how to do parkour themselves, and that's fine. But what Texas Parkour is doing is they're trying to make an effort to go out there and you know help teach those people. I mean, granted, you know, many tracers have learned on their own. I'm, I'm one of them, but you know, it's really, really great when you have a group of experienced athletes who make an effort to go around and teach those new guys. It's a real big confidence boost for the new guys. They're like, wait, what? You know, all these awesome tracers are coming to help me? That, that's a great feeling. You know, not only does it help with the confidence boost, but it really helps advance them a lot quicker. Um, it's it's going to help them a lot in the long run. Texas parkour has positively affected me in more ways than I could possibly imagine, more ways than I ever would have thought possible. Um, at the very beginning, I didn't even know what parkour was. Uh, two years ago, two, three years ago, I'd never even heard the word. Um, I'd heard about free running, but as far as I knew, it was just running in a straight line. I, I didn't know anything about it. Um, my friend Nathan was part of Texas parkour, and he asked me to start doing parkour with him. I was like, well, I, I don't know what this is, but I, I guess I'll go ahead and start. Uh, I didn't realize what it would be to me at that point. Uh, from that point, you know, my stress level, I mean, I, I used to be a really stressful guy, you know, it was all the way up here, my stress level. The more I trained parkour, the less stress I had to worry about. Now it's almost a stress-free lifestyle. I'm really relaxed, I'm easygoing. Um, the discipline part of parkour, you know, Texas parkour brought me into it. Discipline-wise, I'm a lot better off than I was before. I used to have a pretty bad temper, uh, short fuse and everything. Nowadays, though, you know, it's really hard to get me angry. That's what parkour is about. And I never would have done that if my friend hadn't introduced me to Texas parkour. From parkour, I've actually had a martial arts opportunity. I started taking martial arts and I got hired on as a coach and an instructor. And honestly, I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't gotten into parkour. That's what originally led me to martial arts. So, um, you know, I've got a job thanks to my friend introducing me to Texas parkour. If that group hadn't existed, my friend would never have joined parkour. I would know nothing about it and I would have nothing to do with martial arts. I'm going to tell you right now, parkour and martial arts have completely changed who I am for the better. I'm actually involved in an indie film doing uh, fight choreography and stunt work because of some of the connections I made through Texas parkour. Somebody found me online and they're like, oh, this guy's really good and he lives in my area. And so what he did was he got in touch with me and now I'm doing, um, like I said, the stunt work and fight choreography for indie film going on. I had the opportunity to uh, go to a coaching workshop over in Dallas with Matthew Lee Willis and a couple other guys. 
and uh, it really helped me out a lot, not only in you know coaching parkour, but also in helping out with martial arts and um, helping my friends learn new talents, you know, juggling, magic, stuff like that. The coaching workshop, it, it was amazing. You know, it taught not only the physical aspect of hey, try this motion, do this, but also the mental aspect of how you should phrase things, you know, how you should say things. And it, it really applies to all aspects of life, the way that you can coach people. It's not just, hey, do this. Oh, no, you're doing it wrong. Try it all again. Uh, uh, Texas Parkour teaches a really, really nice way of how to, how to coach people and how to help them out.